Welcome back. It's a race that's receiving a lot of attention nationally as Republicans try to hold on to the hard-won victory of GOP Congressman Mike Garcia in California's 25th district, including Santa Clarita, the Antelope Valley, and Simi Valley. His special election victory earlier this year, one of the few bright spots for the Republican Party. He joins us from his campaign headquarters. So, uh, Congressman, thanks for taking the time. Uh, there's a $1.8 trillion deal that the White House has apparently agreed to with with uh, the House of Representatives and, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Uh, would you vote for it, and should the Speaker uh, bring it to the floor? You know what? I, I, I applaud the White House's uh, willingness to keep coming back to the table and negotiating in good faith with, with someone uh, in, in Nancy Pelosi who clearly doesn't want to negotiate. Uh, she's, she's holding the nation hostage right now for political purposes, and I get it. She's got to do what she thinks she needs to do politically, but there's there's Americans losing their jobs out there. There's there's industries literally going out of business right now. We have to get these these packages approved. So, you know, the 1.8 trillion is a higher dollar point than I wanted, but it's it, you know what? It, let's get it across the goal line. Let's get the unemployment insurance to those who need it so that they can survive. Let's get the PPP extended. Let's get the 138 billion dollars that's still available in the PPP program out to the to, to the citizens who need it right now. And and you know, we have the airline industry literally laying off thousands of folks real time and, and Nancy is just not wanting to even negotiate in good faith. This is exactly why people don't like Congress and I've seen it firsthand. In this campaign you focused a lot of attention on something called Assembly Bill 5. That is a state measure signed by the governor which requires companies to hire their freelance workers and pay them uh, benefits and minimum wage. Uh, why is that so important to you considering it's a state law not a federal law or do you anticipate that Democrats are going to try to make this a national law and they're going to go to Washington with this idea. It, it absolutely is part of the Democrat agenda and it is part of the national plan. Uh, I just uh, introduced and co-sponsored a bill at the federal level that would prevent something like AB5 from being enacted at the national and federal levels. Look, AB5, if, if, if COVID put us on life support on our economy, AB5 has been this, this dagger that's just been uh, repeatedly put into our back and our sides why we've been on life support here. Uh, I called for the immediate repeal of AB5 uh, on day one of the COVID lockdown. I was in opposition at from, uh, from the early days, uh, but this governor had low-hanging fruit and he had a, an easy lever to pull here in repealing AB5. My opponent, Christy Smith, uh, supports AB5. Uh, when it came up for a vote for a repeal, she voted in support of keeping it. Uh, when it came up for another vote, uh, she ended up not even voting and didn't show the uh, moral fortitude to do the right thing. Uh, this is what's making Uber and Lyft leave the state. It's a public safety issue at this point. It's a jobs thing at this point, and it makes no sense. And it's just, uh, it needs to be completely repealed instead of these Band-Aid carve-out uh, approaches that they're taking. Uh, and it will creep up, Conan, to the national level. If we can't figure out how to end it here in California, it's a proving ground for things to come in the national level. Uh, and it will absolutely kill the uh, gig economy nationwide. Listen, there are suburban Republicans in your district, a lot of them, who voted for John McCain, who voted for Mitt Romney. They can't find themselves to vote for Donald Trump. How do you convince them to split their ticket, to maybe not vote for the Republican at the top, but to vote for you for Congress? Well, I think in many cases we already have. They see in me a patriot. They see in, in me someone who has served the country, who's running for the right reasons. I'm not doing this for... Uh, the money, the quality of life, or, or personal gain. I'm doing this because I see my nation at a, in a very perilous position. I don't want my country to turn into what California has become. And when you talk to anyone, regardless of what party they're affiliated, they just uh, want to make sure that they're voting for the right human being and not necessarily for a party. To that degree, are you proud to be on the same ticket with President Trump? I am. When you look at what this nation has done, and first of all, I say I'm a, I'm a supporter of the Constitution. I'm loyal only to the Constitution and this nation uh, and the interest of our, of our district here in, in northern L.A. County and Ventura County. Uh, so that's where my loyalties lie. I, I, I flew in combat missions overseas. Uh, I, I understand the importance of where we are in our nation's history right now. Uh, but look, when you look around the, 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 the nation and, and the globe, really, at the, the relative stability that we have right now, we have troops at all-time lows uh, in the last 20 years in four different theaters. If you recall, Conan, there were Americans getting their heads cut off on TV four years ago. So I think he's done a good job on the international stage. I think he's done a great job with the economy. Uh, we will get through this COVID crisis. Uh, I, you know, we've learned a lot, and we're going to get stronger as a result. 
Uh, but results matter. And, and while you may not uh, agree with the style, you may not like the style, in the end, it's the policy that matters and it's the results that matter. And we need leaders who are going to protect this beautiful country and not someone who's just going to show up and look good and then not be able to execute. Mike Garcia, member of Congress running for re-election in the 25th District, Northern L.A. County and part of Ventura County. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Conan. Have a great day. Up next.